Hello everyone. We have a question here. We are asked to find the number of terms in the following arithmetic progressions. So the first AP given to us is this. The first term of the AP is 7, second term 13, 19 and so on till the last term is given as 205. So the first term stands for A, right? A we call the first term as A. Let us name it as A. The second term is A plus D, where D is the common difference. So we can easily find D using uh, this. Uh, that is just 13 minus 7 will give you D. So let us rewrite whatever we know now. We know that A is equal to 7 the d d is the common difference in this arithmetic progression it's 13 minus 7 which is 6 so we know that d is 6 uh, and what else do we know this is a plus 2d right the third term the th third term is a plus 2d this was a plus 1d this was a plus 0d so what would this be the last term the nth term so if this is the nth term we can write it as a plus n minus 1d because this is the pattern which is being followed here the first term is denoted by 0 into d which is just a so this is a plus n minus 1d so now let us substitute here in whatever we know we know that a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 205 and we have been asked to find the number of terms which is n right we know the difference the difference is 6 we do not know n n minus 1 and we know what is a it is 7 so all of this is equal to 205 which has also been given to us as the last term so now it's easy for us to simplify and write uh, let us just uh, keep uh, n minus 1 into 6 on one side and subtract 7 both sides minus 7 and minus 7 uh, what do we get 205 minus 7 is uh, mm, isn't it 198 isn't it 205 minus 7 15 minus 7 is uh, yeah 8 9 198 so this is 198 so your n minus 1 is equal to 198 by 6 which is 6 uh, 3 times 18 1 carry over 3 times 18 so this is 33 so what are we asked to find we have been asked to find n the number of terms in the ap the number of terms is 33 plus 1 so 34 34 is going to be a final answer, the number of terms in this first arithmetic progression which has been given to us. Now let's see what is our second one. It is 18, 15 and a half, 13 and so on till minus 47. So let me uh, rewrite it first. It's uh, 18, sorry, 18, 15 and a half, 13 and so on till minus 47 so following the same uh, a, the terms a plus d a plus 2d so on minus 47 stands for a plus n minus 1d isn't it from here let us try to find what is n because we know what is a isn't it a is 18 the first term a is 18 and we also know what is d d is the second term minus the first term 15 and a half minus 18 this is a decreasing uh, arithmetic progression so our common difference is going to be negative what is 18 minus 15 and a half isn't it two and a half yeah you can subtract and see uh, for uh, for the clarity it's minus two and a half or we can also rewrite it as an improper fraction to minus 5 by 2 isn't it to 2 is a 4 4 plus 1 5 minus 5 by 2 so now let us substitute all of what we know in this a plus n minus 1 d is equal to minus 47 a plus n minus 1 into d which is 18 
plus. The plus becomes minus because our D here is negative. Minus 5 by 2 into n minus 1 is equal to minus 47. Let me change to red. The ink is not very bright. So, uh, so can we further simplify this? Yes. Uh, let us subtract 18 from both sides. What do you get? You get minus 5 by 2 into n minus 1 is equal to minus 47 minus 18. What is 47 plus 18? It is 7, 7, 14, 15, 5, 1, 65, right? It's minus 65. So what is our n minus 1? Let us just uh, uh, multiply both sides by minus 2 by 5, right? You just multiply both sides. This also by minus 2 by 5 and the right hand side also by minus 2 by 5. Then we will get n minus 1. So what is six, minus 65 into minus 2 by 5? First of all, the sign becomes um, positive because negative into negative becomes positive. So 65 into 2 by 5. So this can be divided by 5. Uh, the, both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by 5. You get 5 and 5, 5, 3 is 15. So this is 26. So your n minus 1 is 26. So the number of terms in this arithmetic progression is n is equal to 26 plus 1 which is 27. So there are 27 terms in the second arithmetic progression. So you have two answers now for both each of four the arithmetic progressions. The first one was 34 and the second one the number of terms 27. I hope you understood the problem. Thank you.